going everyone my name is what we don't care my name is and today we're taking a look at creed 3 all right so this is the ninth film in the rocky film series but this is the first one without sylvester stallone as rocky balboa and the directorial debut of michael b jordan who directed the movie while stallone worked as a producer for the movie so already going into this i was curious to see how it was going to go without rocky in the movie and see how Jordan will do directing his own movie, and I gotta say, it didn't disappoint. The plot for the film takes place after the events of the second film, where we see Donnie retired from boxing and now wants to focus on raising his daughter and being there for his family. And everything seems to be going well until someone from his past returned to change everything. Damian Anderson, played by the great Jonathan Majors, Revealed to be a childhood friend of Donnie, someone who looked out for him, and someone who was looking to become uh, a boxer himself, and was someone that a lot of people saw as a boxing prodigy. Until he ended up in prison. Now he's returned, looking to make his former friend pay for what happened, and take away everything that he felt should have been his. So Donnie has decided that he will put on the gloves one more time to not only defend everything he's built, but face his past so he can have a future with his family. So, the plot goes differently than the previous Rocky and Creed movies have gone, mostly because the film no longer revolves around anything from the past. Anything involving Apollo or Rocky or any foes from their past. It's just basically this is a whole different kind of movie. And right there, it does feel different. I love how the first act gets you hooked on what's going on, and while yes, it is predictable how it will go in the second act, it doesn't take away the drama that they've been building throughout the movie, the emotion that they have been putting in there, and we get to the third act where we see the training montage, the emotional moments, and the resolve to help Donnie overcome you know, his, uh, his problems in order to help him get ready for the final fight, and that's where we get to the final act, which does deliver. It delivers on... The fight, and I do love how it went. While the ending wasn't as perfect as we had hoped, it doesn't mean it wasn't good. I still love the f this film's plot, and yes, again, the film only has its flaws with it being predictable, and the final, uh, the ending. But it doesn't mean it wasn't still good, and I love how the actors made this plot work. Michael B. Jordan as Adonis, Donnie Creed, um, who you could tell has grown in this film. He's become more understanding of his choices no longer feels like he's in the shadow of his father or needs to rock around to make his de decisions on his own. Uh, he has his uh, Tessa Thompson, who plays uh, Bianca as Donnie's wife. Uh, it's great to be there as, uh, as supportive for her husband, but also trying to get him to overcome his feelings of his past, of his former friend. Uh, speaking of which, Jonathan Major, again, I love him as Damien. He was amazing. I love how at first he's acting like a good guy, but you already could tell, no, you're up to something. You're the bad guy in here. And yeah, once he shows who, what kind of person he is, he makes a great antagonist. He isn't like the other antagonists we saw in the other film. He is someone who felt like everything was raw from him. It felt like everything that Donnie has that should have been his and is looking to get revenge. And you can feel that, that hatred that he has and wants to make his friend pay. I love the supporting cast as well, including the return of Florian, uh, hopefully I can't say his last name right, Mutin uh, Aouni, sorry. Uh, he played Victor Drago in the last film, so I love the return of, of him as well. Uh, everyone else did such a great job with their roles, and the emotion that the main cast showed throughout the film made the plot work. The fight choreography, of course, was done so well, and I do love how they get the shots for the film. You can almost feel the punches, feel what the... Uh, what the others are going through, and it looks so brutal. Uh, and once we get to the final fight, you can see the two former friends going at it, giving it everything they got, letting out their emotions, giving it everything they have to the point that you're so invested in how it's going to go. The training montage, of course, is a lot of fun. I do love the soundtrack they get for these films, too. Uh, so, yeah, Creed 3 to me is a good film and a great film for Michael B. Jordan as the director. And Yes, it's not perfect, but it doesn't mean that it's not a good film. I still loved it. I still I enjoyed watching it. It's very enjoyable and one I will definitely see again. So I highly recommend this film. If you're a fan of boxing films or if you want to see this with your friends or your loved ones, I highly recommend it. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this film, what do you think of the other Rocky or Creed movies? Leave some comments below. Let me know what I think. 
Here's the comment button. Check out my Facebook page. We have Twitter page. Check out T3 Media's channel. Subscribe to our channel. Give us your videos. And I'll see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care. Be safe. Love you all. And goodbye.